Following on from the previous two videos, we were trying to understand why it is that when you differentiate a unit tangent, a unit tangent of length 1, it will give you a new vector, and this new vector is always at 90 degrees. Why is it that when you differentiate a length of 1, it will give you something at 90 degrees? If you try to differentiate a tangent, so, so you, um, you've got your vector here, your, ve your position vector, and then you differentiate this, it will give you this tangent here. Um, divided by its magnitude, it gives you this, this um, uh, unit tangent. Why is it that when you try and differentiate this tangent, it might not, it will give you a new vector, and this vector here won't, won't be at 92 degrees. Why is it that when you differentiate the, uh, the unit tangent, it will always be at 90 degrees, whereas if you try to differentiate this, it, it might or might not be at 90 degrees. Why is that? So that's what we're going to try and address in this um, in this video. So in essence, we are really trying to understand this. Um, why is it that when when something is at a constant length, is at a constant length, if you um, if you if you differentiate that vector, it will always be at 90 degrees. Remember, we've we've seen this before. If you want to um, detect if two vectors are, are at 90 degrees, you would look at the dot product, and this is the dot product. So in essence, what we are trying to understand is that we are trying to understand why is it that when you differentiate a unit tangent, it will give you a new vector, and this new vector is at 90 degrees. So in essence, we are looking at, at this. So you've got your, your, your vector of constant length, and, and when, you, when you differentiate it and then take the dot product, why does it equal zero? Remember, this is really saying why. If you take the dot, dot product of two vectors, if uh, if it equal, if the dot product equals zero, then you know it's at 90 degrees. So really, we are looking at the same thing here. So this is your unit vector, and this is because because we are making the demand that is of, of constant length, and then this is your derivative. So take the dot product equals zero, then you must know that um, that is at 90 degrees. So let's look at let's look at the unit tangent. So you've got your unit tangent here, which is this thing here. So so imagine this plane is flying through uh, 3D space. The unit tangent is always of length one. So suppose the plane is here. Let's say it's pointing in this direction here. So this is your vector. Let's say the plane is here because it's it's of it's unit tangent. It's always of length one. Let's just say it points here. Let's say the uh, the plane is here. The unit tangent. It's always pointing, um, or it, it's always of length one, constant length. It's always of length one. So you can think of this unit tangent here as being on within a sphere, within a sphere. But let's just look at it at a circle in 2D to make it simpler for me to explain. So, so your unit tangent here is always pointing within this circle. Now, if you look at this thing here, which is your tangent, so, um, so this is your tangent here. One minute is really long, and let's say the plane is here. The tangent might be really short. The tangent might be really short. Um, if if the plane is, let's say the plane is here, then uh, then it could be really long. It could be really long. Or let's say it's somewhere around here, where where the tangent is really short. So so um, so this thing here is of varying length. It's of varying length. This unit tangent here is always of the same length. Now, so 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 uh, this thing here in your mind, picture this vector here of constant length. It is a vector. I don't know where it's pointing as it's moving. It's, as it's moving through 3D space, it's, it's varying, but it's always of length one. And um, so when you've got a vector and then you um, you take the derivative, um, it will always it will always be in a tangent. It, it will be it will always be at a tangent. And then if you look at this, it's always right angle. Let's say it's pointing over here. Um, and then you take the derivative, whatever that may mean, just, well, it's going to be a tangent. And look, it's always at 90 degrees. Now, this thing here is always varying. This is one minute is really long, and next minute is really short. Next minute is, let's say the plane is here. Next minute is really long. It's of varying length. So let's say you are currently here. Uh, so, so you you've got your vector here, and then when you take the derivative, the derivative will always be at a tangent. 
to this thing here. So, so your your when you take the derivative, when you take the derivative, so this is your your new vector here, and here you can see it's not it's not of um, nine ninety degrees. Let's say let's say you're here. So this is your vector here. So this is your vector here, and then when you differentiate it, it will be at a tangent here, and then so so this is your new vector here. But then this is not of um, of ninety degrees. Where if if it's a circle, you can see that the curvature here is a lot higher than somewhere over here. So the tangent here, let's say you are currently here, say the tangent. So so the tangent. So this is your new vector now. Hang on. So this is your new vector, and then this this was your your this here is your r. Uh, this here is your r. And then this here is your derivative here, yeah? and you can see it's 90 degrees because it's, it curves a lot more here because it's a constant length. Whereas if you if you, if you try to do the same here, so this is your r here, but it's not of constant length. Um, take the derivative that will then be in the that will be tangent to the to um to the path, and then here it, it is not at 90 degrees. So I hope you can. Well, we in the future we are going to prove this, but at the moment just ha have a rough understanding why, why when something is not a, at a constant length, it's not going to be orthogonal. Whereas if if you have constant length, if you have constant length, if you have constant length, if you take the derivative, it will always be at 90 degrees. So if, you, if this is, if it's at 90 degrees, then um, then if you take the dot product, it will always be zero. Okay, um, we will look at this in the future. Okay, we will prove this in the future.